Hello you goat meat flavoured breakfast cereal, Jim Sterling here and this is Wild Island Quest. Now, this is a game I never expected to see on Steam. I originally covered this in our Best of Steam Greenlight Trailers series, where it caught my attention because of certain screenshots, certain images, certain instances of I don't know what the fuck this is. Uh, but here it is, it somehow made it this weird visual novel, Wild Island Quest, and I'm duty bound to play it, so let's start the English version, not the Russian version. Of course there's a Russian version. Anyway, this game book has a very simple combat system. There is no strength or stamina because all your heroes are just kids, and it's unlikely they will achieve success by brute force. Instead, the luck is taken into consideration because it influences invisibly everyone's life. Okay. Before the starting your adventure, roll an ordinary die and write down the result. What? This is your luck and it won't change in course of the game. If you face some situations which demand to test your luck, follow the instructions set forth in the text. And they just ripped off fucking fighting fantasy for this. I haven't got dice on me. Remember that the success of your adventure depends on your actions, but not on dice rolls. As a rule, you will have to test your luck only in case of emergency, when only a miracle can save you. So make thorough preparations for the adventure. In addition, write down the names of your companion characters. I don't have a pen! And items you have in your traveller sheet! Do not forget the game. What?! So it, bas it basically is... Like the old fighting fantasy books that I used, I used to love playing them. Warlock of Firetop Mountain, Citadel of Chaos, all that stuff. Anyway, the valley is covered with mist, dusk has already fallen. You and your friends, Doyle, Conan and Irene, are making your way through the coastal shrubbery closer and closer to the edge of the island. Black, crooked branches often appear from the fog. They sway like being alive. It's cool outside. A chilly wind is blowing. Sometimes you can hear grinding sounds. Such sounds are usually typical of the floating of ice when the edges of ice blocks clash. Finally, the shrubbery is past and you come to the edge of the island. Usually it looks like an edge of a chasm, but today, everything is different. Today, an unknown and mysterious land is floating past the edge of your home. Oh, yeah, the, the game didn't explain it, but if I remember correctly from the green light video, uh, it's set on a floating island in the sky. Apparently, all these floating islands just pass by each other. Uh, but now you know. This is famous Wild Island, where Cyrus Paganel was on the expedition. You heard about it many times, and now you see the island with your own eyes. Quickly, screams Conan, or we won't make it. Your friends run towards the edge and jump over one by one. Even Doyle is already on the other side waving to you. Henry, come to us. You run towards them. This is the... There, there is the edge of the... Fuck that up. There is the edge of the island. There is the fearsome chasm. Wild Island is slowly floating ahead, as the chasm seems to be a black river. Having gathered your strength, you jump. Well, that's horrific. You jump up and figure out that you are in bed. The room is filled with morning light. Parents are very close, discussing something. Return of Red Hood. Now that's a game I was going to cover for Best of Steam Greenlight Traders as well. They're the same fucking people, are they? Yeah, these guys are, are famous for their horrific, terrifying, creepy character models. Which, when it's just visual novel shit, like, just get someone to draw something. Anyway, Snoopy is sniffing something in the corner of the room. You like this is my storyteller voice. Having noticed that you awoke, he lively runs up to you and tries to lick your face, jumping near the bed. You laugh and give him a hug. For almost a year, you had been asking your parents to buy a dog and finally got this devoted friend on your birthday. Snoopy is a very, a very original name. Better say a puppy. He is curious about everything and follows you everywhere. Without doubt, this day will be interesting. And the most amazing thing is that Wild Island really approaches Mech City. 
Fuck it now. Wild Island is just a plot of land that floats constantly close to your island that is called Mech City, the same as the main city. Okay. Usually it is quite far, but nevertheless, there were foolhardy travellers who were able to get there on balloons filled with hot air. Hot air balloons, basically. However, something has happened, and Wild Island is getting closer to Mech City with every passing day. This hot issue is being discussed by all scientists and travellers. According to the latest research, today Wild Island will float to the edge of Mech City and will stay close for almost a day. Where it is going to fly after, nobody knows. The laws of islands floating are poorly studied so far, even by the most prominent scientists. Well, it's time to get ready, otherwise you can be late, and you can't miss such a rare event. Go out! Fucking hell, what is wrong with that dog? How is that small body supporting that fucking head? Anyway, you stand in front of your house. A garden overgrown with weed is around you. In the centre of the garden, an old shed can be seen. You like to play with friends there. Snoopy is jumping by your feet, running aside at times towards something he is interested in. What do you wish to do? Oh, do we get a choice? Go to the city centre. Fuck the shed. Okay. You're on the main square of Mech City. People bustle about like ants going on errands. You can get to many interesting places, but the most important is not to miss the approach time. On the western edge of the square... Why is... The perspective's all wrong here. He's tiny. When he... When this bloke on the left gets to the red shirt fella, he's still going to be only up to about his ass. That's not right. And why are there live action photos in the background? It's just a stock photograph that they've plastered randomly sized, ill-proportioned character models over. That's amazing. Just get someone who can draw. Anyway, on the western edge of the square, you see the house of famous Mech City Huntsman Beobaras Beowulf, the father of your friend Conan. All right. You can drop in to see him if you like. Conan will certainly want to join you. There is a library in the northwest. You can look for something interesting there, something that may prove useful. In the northeast, there is the house of the inventor Nicholas Swift, a father of your friend Doyle. Doyle is probably at home because he likes to spend his free time in Father's Workshop. They say knowledge is power, maybe it's wise to invite him to go with you. The house of... Fucking hell, try to... You can also return home, or go to the place where Wild Island is expected to float and just wait. It's up to you. Right. <sighs> Visit the Huntsman. Huntsman's house is severe and serious, the same as its owner. This is a game. On the door there is a large copper ring fixed in grinning iron jaws of an animal. Those who are not acquainted with Beobrus may be disinclined to come in only by the sight of the house. Actually, appearances are deceptive. Beobrus is a good-natured person. He is frightening only to enemies of Mech City. You come up to the door and seize the ring. Go inside. Okay, this person lives in a shitting tip. Your friend Conan opens the door. Conan is a broad-shouldered, pugnacious, brawny fellow. Nevertheless, he stands through thick and thin by his friends. Conan's room reminds a military barrack. What does it remind the military barrack of? I don't know. Probably father's upbringing takes effect. A handmade bow is hanging on the wall, a present from the father. A horizontal bar is screwed in the corner. I don't need to know this. So, Henry, are you ready? Yeah, buddy, of course. Shall we go? You bet. By the way, he lowered his voice. What about taking my father's rifle? He's out and come home in the evening. Let's do it. Rifle will be useful. Let's play with guns. You're going upstairs to Beobarus' room. It resembles Conan's room, save the bow. There is a double-barrel gun instead, and it is in close... And it is in a closed cage with glass doors. Well, smash them shits. How do we get it out? It is locked. The lock is simple, brushes aside Conan. Give me five minutes. Uh, this is going to not take... Yep, yeah, I'll let him do it. Conan moves a chair up to the case, begins to pick the lock with a steel nail. He obviously overestimated his skills because much time passed when he finally opens the case, take the rifle and hang it behind the back. 
Rifle buttstock almost touches the ground, but now Conan has a rather bellicose air. It's time to leave. So, as to obtain the rifle, you've lost much time. An armed Conan is now with you, but there is not much time for anything to do before Wild Island arrives. Well, shit. You have to hurry in order to not be late. Well, I guess that's that then. Expecting the wonder that many people witness just once in a lifetime, you hurry to the edge of Mech City Island. Very soon you will see Wild Island float near. Joyful Snoopy runs close to you, sniffing the nearest bushes. He seems to look forward to seeing new lands too. You're in a hurry, almost like he, almost like in you dream. Moving branches of the coastal trees apart, being afraid to be late. Here is the edge of the island. A huge crowd has already gathered. People have come to watch this unprecedented event. Mech City folk usually call the edge of the island as the Strand. It really looks like a strand. Grass does not grow here and everything is covered with sand. When a strong wind is blowing, grains of sand are rising into the air and fall down into the fathomless depth under the island. Normally only clouds and foggy outlines of distant islands can be seen from the strand, but today everything is different. You stand still and a sigh of excitement comes out of your chest. What a shit island. Wild Island is floating slowly, very close to you. Sometimes island's edges collide, making deep rumbling noises. Lumps of ground and sand, masses come off and fall into the abyss. Earth shakes under the feet. This is an enchanting and scary sight at the same time. Now the idea to jump over to another island doesn't seem so fascinating anymore. You look closely at alien shores floating by. There is a tangle of some tall grass with pointed asinaciform leaves. Yeah, that'll do for a pronunciation. Here are tall trees enmeshed in Leon. I mean, this really isn't a gameplay game, like, like, video with my reactions. This is just story time with Uncle Jim Jim. Here are, the t here are tall trees enmeshed in lianas. Some birds, disturbed by the sounds of collision, fly out of bushes from time to time. You can hear howls of unseen animals in the alien forest. That fucking dog. Small fluffy animal jumps right out to the shore. One long hop it is in front of you. Snoopy is barking furiously at it. The frightened animal jumps back. Now Snoopy breaks loose and chases the animal before you can stop him. They both vanish in the forest before you know it. Snoopy, stop, Snoopy. Without thinking about a hazard, you rush after your loyal friend. By a single jump, you cross the roaring precipice. I'm just mispronouncing things for my own amusement. Once again, Snoopy's still how eight flickers among the trees and disappears behind them. A few adults who saw your desperate act run towards you screaming something. You rush after Snoopy moving deeper into the unfamiliar forest, being guided by distant barking. Although you ran as fast as possible, the bark is getting more and more distant. In the end, you're out of breath, feeling pain in the chest, no more strength to keep running. Wild Island Forest is around you and instantly you realise you've run too far. It's necessary to return for help, but it appears not so easy to find the way back. You could follow your trail, but there is a dense carpet of musty foliage on the ground, and it's impossible to see the footprints. You try to listen to the roar of clashing edges of two islands, but it is lost in the noise of disturbed inhabitants of the forest. It seems you're completely lost. A long time has already elapsed, and it's getting dark in the jungle. It looks like the night is falling. It's useless and dangerous to look for a way out in the dark. You are scared. Tears are welling up in your eyes, but it is clear that you won't return home today. Apparently, you'll have to stay overnight here. You come across a small forest glade and look around. Will it be safe to settle here, or should you find a safer place while it's not too dark? Ah, fuck it, glade. Blimey, he's an industrious little shit. After thinking a little, you decide that staying overnight on the glade is not so bad after all. Besides, you aren't going to sleep like that on the ground. Any mech city boy can make a plain shelter of fallen branches. Yeah. Soon you proudly admire the assembled structure, unfortunately. That's an indictment of the game. The game indicts the game. Unfortunately, you're not in your courtyard, but in the alien dangerous forest. It's getting dark time to get ready for sleep. Something happens soon. Go to sleep. Fucking hell. Do you have to narrate every little thing? Like, let's just take it as red. I went to sleep. You get into your unsafe refuge. It is almost completely dark around. You can see no further than at arm's length. Right. 
Night jungle is full of life. Somebody bustles about on trees. You can hear weird rustles and sighs coming from the thicket. Suddenly, forest animals begin to scream especially loud. You can hear some small rapid animals climb up the trees. It seems that a large predator is approaching. You do your best to discern something in the darkness, but in vain. Besides, it is getting quiet outside. Wait, Conan, keep the rifle in ready. Oh, so Conan is with us. They do all that description, and they don't say Conan jumped with us. I'm just going to go, wait. Suddenly, one of the walls of your shelter collapses, and you're horrified to see sparkling eyes, enormous fangs, smelling stinking breath of the predator right in front of you. That, that'll be this mass of shapes on the right. Fear seizes you, and you're unable to take any measures. Your adventure ends here. Right, that, that, that'll do me. Um, to be honest, the screenshots of the game are, are all you need. Um... We'll, we'll just look at those again. There's weird people being dragged. Maybe a, a small boy trying to eat somebody else. There is those two people noshing off in the background. Um, looking very, very saucy. And there's this suggestive fucking picture. And that's the picture I think I'll leave you all with. Um, yeah. I mean, it's a shame we didn't get to experience that for ourselves, isn't it? But, but I think the picture is worth a thousand words, and and it's not really worth getting through a thousand words for us to get to that picture ourselves. So, bye.